Hi, I'm Craig, and I'm a volunteer at the Pacific Grove Museum of Natural History. Today I'd like to share with you my favorite endangered species. Now I'm not going to tell you what that species is right now, but I'll give you some facts about the animal and its behaviors and maybe you can guess what it is. First of all, it's a reptile. So reptiles have been on the earth for 100 million years. They were around to play with Tyrannosaurus rex, the dinosaur. And as you know, most reptiles are cold-blooded. That means they can't generate body heat, so they depend on the sun to stay warm. My favorite reptile, however, has got a pretty unique uh, blood supply that keeps their body warm in the cold ocean. <clears throat> so they can tolerate the cold water in Monterey Bay. Now, reptiles have lungs, which means they breathe air. So if it's in the ocean, it has to come to the surface in order to breathe. And this reptile that's my favorite is big. If you were to stand it on end, it would be seven feet long, and it would weigh about 2,000 pounds. That's the same as eight great big football players. Now the reptile I'm talking about lays its eggs on tropical beaches 8,000 miles from Monterey in the western Pacific Ocean. Now, like lots of other animals that we see in Monterey Bay, the reptile I'm thinking about comes here to forage. What that means is to eat. So the reptile I'm thinking about actually has spines in its throat, little prickly spines that trap slimy food. And that slimy food happens to be jellyfish, or as we call them, jellies. So the spines prevent that slimy food from slipping back out of its throat. You want to take a guess what that reptile is? Well, you're getting close. Well, this reptile is a leatherback sea turtle. Most turtles have a very hard shell, but the leatherback, the shell is made up of pieces of the carapace, the back, and they, it's a very leathery feel, so it's not shiny. Leatherback sea turtles are really important to the ecosystems where they live for lots of reasons. Here in Monterey Bay, they're important because they are the major predator for jellies. Every day they eat about 200 pounds of jellies. Without them, the population of jellies would just explode. Where leatherback sea turtles nest throughout the world, they provide nutrients for the vegetation on tropical beaches, and that prevents uh, erosion. And it's also uh, food for other critters. The hatchlings themselves, the small turtles after they hatch, are also food for other creatures in that ecosystem. So it's estimated that the population of leatherback sea turtles has declined by more than 80% since the 1980s. That means there's only 20% left. Some scientists think they could become extinct in 20 years. So an average of about 180 
leatherback sea turtles were spotted in California waters each year between 2005 and 2014. But just 50, about 25%, as many have been seen annually since then. So why is the population of leatherback sea turtles decreasing? Why are leatherback sea turtles an endangered species? First, the habitats where they nest are being destroyed or developed. Hungry people in those areas oftentimes collect eggs from nests for food. And sometimes they'll actually hunt the leatherback turtle itself and harvest it for its meat. Some turtles are hit by ships as they swim across the Pacific Ocean. Others might be entangled in fishing lines or fishing nets and die. And because leatherback sea turtles feed on jellies, they sometimes mistake plastic bags for food. Just last month, in August, the California Department of Fish and Game voted that leatherback sea turtles would be added to the uh, endangered species list for the state of California. This will add more protections to those that exist already in federal regula regulations. So our job is to do everything we can to protect leatherback sea turtles. Thank you.